We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you are all having a wonderful Thanksgiving Eve. I wanted to do this video. I thought about doing this video a few weeks ago and decided today would be a great day to do it. So what I'm going to do is to actually make the pumpkin pie from this recipe that is on this Dollar Tree tea towel. So I went ahead and I got all of the ingredients, but before I do that, um, I wanna go ahead and preheat my oven to 425. So I'm gonna do that now. Bake. Drop a comment below and let me know which pie you are looking forward to having this holiday season the most. For me, it's pecan pie, but I do like pumpkin pie. Okay, so now that that's preheating, I have all of my ingredients here. I have sugar. Don't look at the dirty dishes. <laughs> I have sugar, cloves, cinnamon, ginger, pumpkin, two large eggs, evaporated milk, salt, and pie crust and it also lists uh, whipped cream as optional and I'm actually going to uh, try to make my own whipped cream we'll see how that turns out okay so let's get started so it says to mix the sugar cinnamon salt ginger and cloves in a small bowl I did get a smaller bowl to beat the two eggs in so now let's get some sugar. <laughs> Look at that. Look how I opened it. <laughs> it's been a minute since I've had sugar like this. I'm, okay, so I have my sugar, three quarters cup of sugar. And for the cinnamon, I'm going to need one teaspoon. And you know what? I'm just going to eyeball it that that's a teaspoon <laughs> I love cinnamon so even if it was to me there's no such thing as too much cinnamon uh, half a teaspoon of salt um, I actually don't have anything like table salt I do have sea salt and I also have the um, pink salt so I'm gonna do uh, about three twists of this into the bowl. One, two, three. I think that'll be enough. And I'm try and bring everything closer in so you can see. And oh, it smells good already. Ginger, half a teaspoon of ground ginger. about half a teaspoon and quarter teaspoon of the ground cloves. Okay, so it says to mix this together and Okay, so now we are going to uh, beat the eggs in a large bowl, it says. So I'm going to transfer, I was supposed to do this in the small bowl. I'm gonna give this a quick rinse. Oh my gosh, guys, just this mixture right here smells like a pumpkin pie. Drop a comment below and let me know if you are the person that brings sweet or savory to the Thanksgiving dinner.
This is an old school can opener. This is how we used to do it back in the day. Crank style. <laughs> Drop a comment below and let me know if you are hosting Thanksgiving at your place. If you are, you probably don't have time to sit around and watch YouTube videos, but just in case you do, just in case you get a moment to yourself or you're on here looking for a couple of last minute recipes and you come across this video, if you're hosting any strays, let me know. I might show up. <laughs> okay, so... We're gonna stir in the pumpkin as directed. All right, that looks pretty incorporated to me. It looks stirred together very well. And now it says uh, to stir it in the sugar and spice mixture. Okay, so the only thing that we're missing is the evaporating. Guys, on top of the can, it does say to shake well. So make sure that if you do this recipe, that before you open up the can, that you do shake it up. Let's get the pie shell ready. So for our pie crust, I decided to use this Pillsbury pie crust. It comes in two rolls like this. I'm gonna fill. Will it fit, will it fit, will it fit? Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna give it a few taps just to try to get some of those air bubbles out and it's ready to go into the oven. I think it looks pretty good. I'm really excited to see how it tastes. According to the instructions, we should cool on a wire rack for two hours. Okay, so after, it's been actually more like three hours. This is what the pie looks like. It's sitting under the oven light. Let me bring it out. So that's what it looks like. I can't wait to cut into it, see how it turned out. And so now we are going to make the whipped topping for it. And to do that, we're going to use some heavy whipping cream. I'm adding cinnamon, vanilla, and uh, powdered sugar. So I'm using the whisk attachment. You don't have to use the whisk attachment. You can just use the regular beaters and I'm going to beat this until it is um, stiff peaks.
Okay, so now we are ready to slice into our pie. <sighs> Look at, uh oh. <laughs> Look at that. So I just am using one of the uh, Gather Melamine plates from the Dollar Tree. And I'm setting it on a serving tray. I do have a DIY for this uh, serving tray. I will link that for you in the description box below if you're interested. And now I'm going to take a dollop of my handmade whipped cream. Put it on top and the only thing left to do is to give it a taste get some of that whipped cream some of that pie oh yeah that is a home run guys like i said before if it were me i would have added more spices in to the mix a punch more of ginger I uh, probably would have added nutmeg too, but guys, it is so good. Thank you guys so much for joining me for today's video. I hope you enjoyed this pumpkin pie DIY. And if you make this recipe yourself, um, drop a comment below and let me know how yours turned out. I hope you all have a really beautiful holiday with your friends, with your family, with yourselves. And I look forward to seeing you all in my next video. Take care, everyone.